guys, John and Cherise here. Another Cupid's Corner, and we're coming to you from our 12th anniversary, our little vacation, or a little trip away. We, we barely get days away. So we thought we'd do it, you know, organically, in, in the moment, and have you guys see how we are, just relaxing here. My blankie. That's where it's really about. Vacation should be about relaxing. So at that point, we're here, and we want to bring up some more tips they're going to help your relationship, you know, reach the best possible place it can get, okay? Maybe these things will enhance your relationship. Maybe they'll reignite some things or maybe think about some things that you and your partner should really be doing or, uh, you know, recreate that bond again. So the first one, obviously, since we're here, would be take a vacation. <laughs> Take a couple days. It doesn't have to be an extreme place, right, Therese? No, it doesn't have to be somewhere like far, far away. Because we live in Florida. We actually live in Tampa, Florida. And even if we went to Clearwater or St. Pete, which is actually maybe like a 30-minute drive, it's not that far. It's still kind of on the beach. It's away from people. You can go anywhere that's secluded. I know even like in Denver, Colorado, mm -hmm. that they have these places like up in the mountains where you can only go like 35, 45-minute drive but you're secluded to some degree where yeah. you're not like around a bunch of people. You can kind of be with each other and really just enjoy that time with each other. Yeah, I think it's important just to get away, to isolate yourselves away from everybody else um, and really, you know, just have each other and, and kind of relax, de-stress. Mm -hmm. Get those cortisol levels down. Make sure you guys are healthy um, together. And at that point, you guys can really have a great relationship. So it's important for you guys to have a little getaway of some sort you know, get that bond back together. Do some things that you guys like to do. Um, if you guys have had a long relationship, you guys should know a lot about your partner, what they like, what they don't like. So why don't you guys plan some things that you guys enjoy together on these trips? If it's just relaxing in the bed and, and, you know, just hanging out, that's a good thing too. Which, you know, I mean, which brings us to our next, next thing. Been watching. Oh my God, it's my favorite thing ever. Right? So, you know, I mean, that that's a very inexpensive <laughs> way. If you say, hey, listen, John, I can't take a vacation. I can't afford a vacation. Right? Which I, I we can't were get there away. at many, 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 I, many, 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 many points and times we have been there. Yes. So, you know, at this point, you guys can find some episode that you guys like. You guys should have some common interest in that, I would think. At least one show or two. There's Netflix, there's Hulu, there's all types of things out there. They're very expensive, even if you got them for a short period of time. You guys can enjoy this marathon, marathon together. You guys can snuggle, you know, get back to each other, you know, just kind of relax and not have to worry about anything. If you guys have kids, you know, have a babysitter for a couple hours, or, you know, maybe ask a parent or somebody supportive. If you guys don't have anybody like that, there's probably some websites out there that can help you, okay? Not only that, though, honestly, even when, I'll be totally honest with you guys, even when me and John, like, binge watch, binge watch some things, yeah. we are in our room, and our little one, which is 10 years old, he's yeah. downstairs playing his video game, because he doesn't want to come upstairs and watch our, what we're watching. Yeah. So it's fun to watch things with your significant other. You guys have Uber Eats, you have... DoorDash, you have whatever other dashes and whatever food places that'll bring you food yep. that you can just hang out in bed and do nothing. It is yep. so nice, especially even you people that work the nine to fives, the regular eight hour shifts, yep. eight hours can really feel like 20 hours to a lot of people because it's such an intense job. So it's nice to just have that little bit of time and, you know, binge watch anything. Honestly, guys, even if you didn't enjoy or really like what your significant other wanted to watch, just be there and watch it. Eat the food. Eat the food. Enjoy the Uber Eats and just sit there, cuddle, eat the food, and just pretend to enjoy it. There's got to be something you guys <laughs> both can find, though. I really, I, I think that you guys should, tr should try to find something together. So you're not bored or you're not, you know, you guys True. are both, right? Because that's really what binge watch is about. Cause you just, I mean, think about it. If somebody had to sit there for eight hours and they're like, this is not what I want to watch, you know? And I, I, I know, like, Sharice doesn't like, like, westerns or, like, old movies like that, like, old-time movies, like, in, in shot like that, but... You know, so I don't try to, you know, watch those movies around her, even though I like some of those movies. He might try and justify it to me. Yeah, yeah. No, like, this is going to be great. All the five minutes really like, good. Mm, no. You know, I'll tell her. But, you know, that's what, see, it's that's what it work. is. So that's not going to work. So, but then I order Uber Eats. Yes. And everything's fine. So, yeah, I guess Uber Eats <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. That could definitely help. 
I, I think that might be a way to go. So take her advice on that. Please take my advice. It's yeah. really great advice. I promise. Come on, Netflix and chill. There's a reason that stays out there. Okay, guys. <laughs> So it's really good. It's really good. All right. So for our third topic, you know, do you want to introduce this topic? I'll let you introduce okay. it. Okay. So the grass is always, or is never. not, is not it always. Is never greener on the other side. Is you guys will always take a peek over the fence and you'll think it's greener. And yeah. you're like, oh my goodness, it looks so soft. I want to just roll around in it and just <laughs> jump around in it and roll in big circles. And no. then you get there and all of a sudden you need the whole dose, double dose of Benadryl oh. because you have broken out hives oh. from this horrible grass and you oh. went over to the other side. Oh. It's like going over to the dark side. You guys ever watch Star oh. Wars? I know you guys have watched Star Wars. Some of you guys, and if you haven't, I know you know there is a dark side over there. The other side of the fence is the dark side. Do not Don't go the dark side. Do not. Do not well, let it fool you. Listen, this is what it is. So this saying means if you don't know, we'll break it down for lamest terms. So if you have somebody that you really, really like, you really love, and you're with them, um, and you see, let's say you're a guy with a girl, right? Mm -hmm. And you see this other girl out in public, and you think that that's going to be better than what your current situation is. You have no idea about that girl, her mental stability, physical stability, <laughs> uh, disease-free, um, you know, how you're going to get along with that person even, you know, at that point. Um, so you, and you're already comfortable with the person that you're with, per se, and you're, you're taking them for granted, all right? And, and all the other stuff that you've been through with that person, if it's good, then obviously you don't want to ruin that. 100%. So don't think that, hey, listen, this next situation is going to be better than my current situation. It might be in minimal circumstances, but majority of the time, no. They always... Or people, my friends, I've had a lot of friends, you know, you know possibly cheat on their girlfriends. Mine too. And at that point, you know, they find out and they break up. And it's because, oh, I got this other girl, man, and she's this, this, and this. You know, and, and this is a very short time he's known this person. You know, I've had some guys that have been in seven-year relationships that do this with somebody uh, over a one-night stand type deal, and it really doesn't work out for them afterwards at all. But one is, is because it creates a, a, a distrust factor with the person that you currently might get with because you cheat on your current girlfriend mm. with that person. So, and if you do it to them, you'll ooh, do it to me. So insecurities will rise uh -huh. there. I mean, that's just one thing. But, you know, you, you take for granted some of the other things that your partner may be doing for you. And, and that's really what it is. Just because, hey, listen, this looks really good. Uh, I'm just going to do this real quick and, and I'll, I won't even worry about the consequences or whatever is going to go on. So at that point, don't think the grass is always green on the side of the fence because usually it's not. <laughs> you know, like I said, minimal. You might, you might. It's a it mirage. Might be there. It's a mirage. We were talking about the other day. <laughs> you, you asked me. Yeah, that. yeah. So yeah, Shreesh, I couldn't think of the word. She's like, yeah, it's a mirage. You know, think about it. You're out in the desert. You think that there's this big shiny palace because you're dehydrated. You're about to have heat stroke. I need and, an ice cream with and a you cone. You get there, and it's not. It's more sand. You pick it up in your hands. You're like, oh my god. So. At that point, don't fall for it and don't always think the grass is green on this other side of the fence. I would say like maybe 5% the grass is greener on the other side. You might be in a bad relationship yeah, where the grass is actually true. greener on the other that's side. True. So let me not say it in every situation. Yeah. But I do think in a lot of different situations, you guys think that the grass is greener on the other side. It could be with your job. It could be with your husband or wife. It could be with any situation whatsoever. Oh, jobs. That's, that's jobs are way. huge. It's, so, you always think the grass might be yep. greener on the other side. You go to the other side, and yep. all of a sudden, it's like, oh, my goodness, I have 10 times the work that I right. thought I was going to have, and I'm getting less pay. Right. Or <laughs> it, it might be, hey, listen, they're going to offer me more pay, and you're, you're getting 10 times the work, right? Yes. Or in that circumstance, you might not get along with the people in your work, or you just don't like the job. Yeah. It might be something that you totally unexpected that you have to do, and you're like, man, this was not worth it. You know. So I, you really have to think about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it, and really take an account with what your current situation is. You know, if it's a business thing, does your employer take care of you? You know, do they go out outside the realm of, of some of the other businesses? Because I've worked in corporate, you know, companies uh, along my life. I worked for private before Titan. Uh, and at that point, you know, corporate companies never really took care of me the way that a private company would take care of me. just a number, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so the top of the, the food chain did not know my name or who I was, you know, and I, and I did really well. 
but there's huge companies and huge cor huge corporations where you don't get that. Where in a private setting, you know, you can come to that person and really have a personal relationship, which we do with our patients here at Titan Medical Center. And that's that's a huge even thing. with our employees. We yeah. have a huge personal relationship Absolutely. with our employees. I mean, why do you think we have a lot of the employees that have been with us forever? Yeah. So it's the same thing, guys. It yeah. doesn't always mean. Listen, I'm not telling you guys you can't have a step stool for. Yeah looking over the fence right because there's a fence and you want to look over it it's right. natural to want to look over the fence mm. but when you look over the fence just know that there's a lot of roundup over there mm. and lots of chemicals mm. and maybe some you know non-gmos <laughs> we were watching last yeah night. yeah we were, we were watching something about gmos and uh and how it gets it mixed in the regular food supply because they're all going to, to one place and get distributed out or per se. A lot of, lot of different things. That, we're going to apply that to this analogy. Yeah. Yes. So we're, and, you Just know, stay on your step stool. Yeah. Stay off. Do not yes. hop over the fence. Yes. You know, I mean, all right to look, but walk by and, and say hi and that's <laughs> it and got to go. You know, don't get yourself caught up no. and don't ruin a current good situation that you might be in. If you're in a bad one, then you need to get out of it anyway. Don't use that as an excuse to get out of it. You should be doing it for yourself and, and what, what's going on in the current situation, right? I agree. So these are the tips that we broke down for you today. I hope you like these tips. We're going to have more tips coming up, right? Yeah, 100%. Actually, stay tuned for the next episode. We might tell you guys some little secrets here on how to maybe not demean your significant other yeah. in public, in yep. front of the children, in front of family members, in front of friends. Yep. There's a lot of different things that you really should apply to the relationship, but yeah. you may not know. Yeah. So we'll be happy to share that with you on the next episode. Yeah, being passionate, loving your partner. That's what it's all about, guys. We'll see you on the next Cupid's Corner, Sunday at 11 a.m. See you then. See ya.